the COVID virus is changing our lives, is impacting on our lives in ways that we have uh, not yet begun to fully understand or even imagine. Uh, it is therefore really important that the containment of the virus, uh, important as it is, doesn't undermine certain rights that we have secured over centuries, over years of struggle and of years of uh, agitation. Uh, the recent uh, uh, recent developments in Sri Lanka where uh, certain people in active on social media or in other forms of media have been arrested or have been have been taken in for questioning uh, because of what they have said is a is a really worrying worrying development. Uh, this is not the moment to be curtailing people's right to uh, right of expression, right freedom of speech. Uh, it is at moments of this this type when there is a crisis. Uh, that uh, people need to be able to express themselves, to be able to express themselves critically. Uh, and it is very clear that by the, by, by the, the kind of, the, it is very clear in the way that this has happened, that certain people, people who, are, who have critical views, who have alternative views, are the ones who are being targeted by the government currently. And that's a really worrying trend. So this is a moment for our, all of us to stand up for our right uh, to express ourselves freely and to engage in critical discussion on perhaps some of the most important decisions that are being made uh, right now, which will have an impact on our lives, not just our own lives, but on future generations. So freedom of expression and the right to express ourselves uh, freedom of speech must be protected uh, under even the most difficult of circumstances.